Hi everyone! No, you're not crazy. <laughs> if you saw the earlier pick a card I posted, uh, this is a legit new pick a card reading. For those of you who saw the last one, my energy was scattered. Honestly, I really didn't like it. Um, thank you, Kat, for saying that you liked the reading. I will go back and redo that one, but I, when I really, really don't like a reading, I can't leave it there, and so I'm back with another pick a card reading. I'm hoping it's not going to be the same thing, but um, I'm using tea leaves for this one, so it might be a little scattered, which kind of defeats the purpose, but I'm hoping it'll be better. <laughs> I don't know. I'm crossing my fingers. So the reading for this one is, uh, what have they been telling others about you? And I have three piles to choose from, beginning on the left with the pig. Let me tell you, when I was picking the charms, for pile two, uh, this is what actually came out, um, another pig. And I was like, you know, no, we're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> so pile two, you are the heart. And pile three is Olaf. So timestamps you will find in the description and comment section. Meet you guys at your pile. Hi, Pile One. Welcome to your pick a card reading. For those of you new, hello and welcome. For those of you subscribed, thank you guys so, so much for all your support. Like I said earlier, thank you for being patient, understanding, and kind. I truly appreciate it. And I just had to do another pick a card. I just wasn't having it. I couldn't leave it at that pick a card. Uh, I'm glad. For those of you who enjoyed it or got something out of it, I felt the energy was way too scattered and I just, I can't leave it there. I couldn't. So here we are and yeah, I'm feeling good obviously and that's why I'm doing another big card. Otherwise I wouldn't. So energetically I'm good. Uh, I know there's retrograde, but hey, I am fine. So let's do this. What has your person been telling others about you? Let's take a look. I've been wanting to do a reading with just tea leaf and these truth deck cards so that's i took advantage i'm like let me just do it just do it and see and so we'll start off with the usual of tarot and then add on from there we have the six of potions we have the chariot oh hold on sorry it's the four of potions my bad i can't read roman rules <laughs> for four of cups and the six of cups that's really what we got here and the chariot I didn't read that one wrong. <laughs> I got one out of three. Ugh, gotta work on that. We have Temperance. We have the Hierophant. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, more than half of your cards, 75% of your cards are major arcanas. And so it feels like they have been talking about how there's been changes. So we're going to add on to this. What do I need to call out? It feels like a lot of... Uh, water energy, cancer energy, we do have Taurus, we also have Sag, um, a lot of water energy, but I am just, you have the chariot, you have temperance, you have the hierophant, you have the wheel of fortune, so quite a bit, so let me just take a look and see what do we got, it's the four of potions, I will remember, <laughs> four of potions, that's how much I pay attention to the photo, so you guys can know, because if I had looked at the photo, I would have known that's a four, but obviously I didn't even look at it. I don't look at it until I do the actual reading. So, Four of Potions, Temperance, hmm. So what I'm getting from your person, what they've been telling the other people is that you've just been like bored and frustrated because they know that they that you want them to take action and from their perspective too they also feel like they missed out on this opportunity but what i'm getting from the temperance is that they just weren't ready that's why they didn't take action but now they're kind of in that four of cups energy is what i'm getting that we have the chariot and the hierophant and this is big energy because not only is it the chariot which we know is about movement and going after i feel like you know of course going after you but then clarifying it 
is there the higher fund so your person is telling others that they do want to come you know back to you they do want to reconnect with you for those of you that are, have been in separation they do want to approach you because deep down they really do desire some type of a commitment or relationship with you at least to see where things go you know you might be like further ahead and you know exactly what you want but your person's kind of in the starting early stages of the relationship they're not thinking too too far ahead at least right now from what i'm getting i might be wrong because we know that some energies the counterparts have been thinking very very long term so if you know that your person's been thinking long term then just go with that that is cool too and so the six of potions and the wheel of fortune it, this to me is just them knowing they feel like with you a comfort a sense of home like there's this soul recognition within you that they just feel like they've known you forever and so the wheel of fortune just destiny like this seems faded like they're like i know it sounds crazy but i feel like you know it's written in the stars kind of thing so that's what they've been telling their friends or family whoever they talk to so that is a tarot potion a uh, potion oh my god <laughs> i'm telling you i need a blooper <laughs> reel i could it's so bad but um portion there we go i am saving the tea leaves and you will see why i am going to put the truth deck over here balancing act so for those of you who saw the pick a card before this one um that's actually one of the cards that came out we have noticed the signs and look at that returning to you and that makes sense with the six of cups that's also about reconciliation reunion you know and coming back these two cards right here are all about reconciliation the chariot and the six of potions just flat out and like i said with the hierophant clarifying it they want to reconcile because they do want to see where this can go and some of them they already know it's meant to be something that'll last forever or a very long time so the balancing act i feel like they've been um what i was saying over here like they weren't ready they just weren't in that energy before and they were trying to figure things out where they were trying to balance multiple things multiple responsibilities and that's part of the reason why they just couldn't approach you uh noticing the signs so yeah of course this <laughs> i mean i don't really do I really need to go too deep into it? I think most of you know that your person has been seeing the signs. They recognize it. They probably tell their friends or family, like, I know it sounds crazy, you know, but I've been seeing, you know, I get reminders of this person throughout the day. They might be dreaming about you. They're like, they just can't escape the thought of you, pile one. And then we have returning to you. Uh, I mean, need I say more? I really don't think I do. So, and then look at this. <laughs> In the earlier pick a card, it, I think it was 23, 24. And in this one, we have 12 and 13. So for those of you that haven't seen the numbers, there you go. There's another confirmation um, you, because everyone might be seeing different numbers. It doesn't always have to be the same one. So here's where the energy might get a little scattered. <laughs> so uh, like I said, it might defeat the total purpose of this reading because I didn't want to pick up on scattered energy. So far, it's been clear, which has been amazing compared to the earlier reading but these tea leaves i i'll be honest i they just go anywhere so we're just gonna roll with it um i think i'm gonna lay them all out and then we'll go through them one by one so we're gonna start over here we have the dolphin we have october we have the flute nest tent dog far away i can actually move this down to kind of a make it look a little bit nicer we have a forest what are you guys a pig how is that for synchronicities you guys and like i said uh i don't know maybe pile two is gonna have messages for you because i had selected and it was this pig not that one and uh, yeah <laughs> that's crazy i love it though so we're gonna start over here with the dolphin Really, I feel like your person uh, just wants to have good times with you. I feel like they've been seeing you, for some of you, they've been seeing you living your life, just living it up, having good times, enjoying every minute of it, especially away from them. And so it makes them want to be a part of your life. They're like, they're seeing you. I feel like there's a hint of jealousy coming through with this. 
uh, because in a way they may not know who you're spending your good times with so they're a little jealous that they're not one of those people they're not in your inner circle right now and they just want to have good times and for some of you I feel like they do want to catch the sunset they've been thinking of like possible dates even we have October, so the month of October holds some kind of significance. I will leave that to you guys to figure out. You will know. It'll be different for each of you, whatever resonates on that. We have the flute. Disappointment in a friend or lover. So, yeah, I feel like they're telling their friends or family, whoever they're talking to, that they've disappointed you. And that went back to that Four of Cups because you've been waiting and, and nothing has happened. They haven't approached you and they know that you're disappointed in them. And that's another reason too they're also in that Four of Cups because now it's like, well, shit, did I miss my opportunity because I waited too long is what I get with that. And then we have the nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. So for some of you, I know what I said, for some of them, they may not be thinking long term, but for some, they're thinking like, yeah, living together, building a family, marriage, they're thinking like with you, they can build that nest, they can have that stable, loving relationship that leads to more, even if it's, you know, pets, it doesn't have to be kids, you know, whatever applies, but they have been talking about the future with you to them. And then we have a tent, a temporary situation. And so they're hoping that this past energy that they can move on from. It. They're hoping, they're like, it's not something, they don't feel that you're a temporary person. They feel that this was destined to happen, that you guys were meant to cross paths in some point in your lives. And it's not just where it's, a fluke it's not just a fling again and so they know it's something deeper so you go from the nest to the tent <laughs> I don't know that's what I'm getting uh, we have dog far away a distant friend is thinking of you so they tell them you know like I was saying before they can't escape the thought of you they've been thinking about you a lot you cross their mind uh, it's like when do you ever leave their mind is really the question and never is what I get with that so they feel away from you too. They feel very disconnected. Again, not being able to be a part of your inner circle. They feel so apart from you and yet they want to be with you. And also with the dog, they recognize how loyal you have been to them, to the connection. But because of nothing happening, you just kind of went and did your own thing. What you had to do, you had to do what was right for you. We have the forest, muddled, unclear thinking. And so I feel like with this, this is going back to the Four of Cups. I told you I would remember. <laughs> the Four of Cups energy with this. It's just, they think of you in a positive light. But when they think about their actions, when they think about everything that's gone down between the two of you, it just gets to be, they get too muddled. Their thoughts just kind of go everywhere and I'll say it again <laughs> I know I'm referencing the earlier reading but I see I see the similarities coming through um if you resonated if you watched it there was one pile where they were just kind of all over the place with their thinking and I feel like that's what it is like they just don't know what to do they're just like I, I don't know cut me off <laughs> But they're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to make of this. I don't know how to approach them. When do I know when the right time is? What do I say? I mean, there's just so many different questions that are coming up with this. And when they think about you, it just kind of, um, it stems down. It's just kind of like, I'm thinking like, you know, when you brainstorm and it's like you put the one word, then you draw down and the words, that's kind of what it is. So like you're at the very top, but then it's like all these other thoughts come trickling down, trickling down. And it's just a big map and you can just imagine. And pig, <laughs> beware of greed. Ah, the pig. I'm still like thinking that's such a um, crazy synchronicity. Uh, they feel like, okay, for some of you, you may have called them a pig. Let's be honest. Some of you may have called them a pig. They might be saying they acted like a pig and that's part of the reason why they didn't approach you. They didn't take action because they just, they're, 
their morals weren't in the right spot, right place, their heart wasn't in it, they they kind of took you for granted is really what I get with this. So that's really what I have pile one. So your person does is saying that they want to come back to you, they want to reconcile, they want to move things forward with you and returning to you. The chariot, the six of potions, uh, the nest, the hierophant, it's just you guys gotta keep me posted. These energies, this is much more better energy. It is not all crazy and muddled, even though it shows up on here, but not like the earlier reading. But overall, it is very good. They haven't said anything negative about you. It's whatever they've said about you has been like they understand why you did what you did and they appreciate you and they know they didn't really respect you in the way that you deserved. So hopefully when they come around, because they recognize it, it'll be a complete 180 of what you've seen in the past. Let me know. Keep me posted. I really enjoyed this reading much better. But if you guys enjoyed the other reading, I am so grateful too <laughs> because I almost did not post it. Let me tell you. I almost didn't. And then I was like, you know what? I already, I took about an hour uh, just to do the reading and then to put it together and then to upload it. Just, you know, I already wasted my energy, so let's do it. But I hope you enjoyed both readings. Honestly, I hope you did. And hopefully both readings gave you some info that you've kind of needed. That is it, Pile 1. Comment, let me know if it resonated. Like, share, subscribe if you're not already. And click on the bell icon so you get notified when I post another pick card. That is it. Thank you for tuning in. Hope to see you guys on the next one. Bye, Pile 1. Hi Pile 2, welcome to your pick a card reading. If you're new to the channel, hello and welcome. For those of you subscribed, thank you guys so so much for tuning into another pick a card and again just for being so patient, understanding, and kind. I truly, truly appreciate it. And today's pick a card, second pick a card reading. This one is what have they been telling others about you? So I was telling Pile 1. I almost almost didn't post that last pick a card i that's how unhappy i was with it uh but i realized well i didn't realize i think i just was thinking i spent so much time on it and you know what what if there was some messages or something that could help you guys so um i can't really judge that i don't know i can know some of your stories but i really don't know what will help you guys or not so I leave that up to you to decide what messages to take and what to leave when you do view my readings. But I just couldn't leave it there. <laughs> I could not leave it with that reading. I was That's how unhappy I was with it. So, And you guys know I usually don't do back-to-backs. I've done it before, but it's been a very, 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 very long time since I last did it. But I am in the right energy and I was just not happy with that reading. <laughs> so here I am with another one today, same day. Um, pile one went a lot smoother than the earlier pick a card, so I'm hoping the same for you guys. Let's find out what your person has been telling others about you. You guys are the heart or the doctor, you know, whatever you want to call it. I'm just going to call it the heart when I title, title it on the description. And the other thing too, I've been wanting to do just a pick a card with the truth deck and the tea leaf cards. So this kind of was the perfect excuse <laughs> to do it. And let's get started. So we're going to start with tarot and then we'll add on what a card to begin with. We have the lovers, the wheel of fortune, the three of presents. Wheel of fortune has been showing up a lot. It showed up in the earlier reading. It already made an appearance in pile one. So you guys are the last. Yeah, pile three is not going to get there. Before. But let's clarify these cards. We have the page of cups. We have the queen of staffs and the nine of staffs. I didn't read off energies um, for pile one. I hope you guys don't mind. Uh, there is some Gemini energy. We do have um, Aries, Leo, Sag energy. And we have everything here, to be honest, so, yeah, they're good. Uh, but if you wanted to know that, there you go. And we have the Lovers and the Page of Cups. Okay. So what your person has been telling others about you. 
they recognize that there is a special connection between the two of you whether or not they use any kind of labels uh, is going to be different because yeah you may know what a twin flame is it's not to say that your person does they may know what a soulmate is i think that's the more commonly used term you know twin flame kind of just took off recently i guess uh so it's different right whatever applies but for your person they recognize there is something special between the two of you there's this special there's this something they just cannot like really describe to others they don't know how to describe it because unless you've experienced it they're like i can't explain it to you i just know like there's that knowing so is that the cognizant i think so <laughs> but your person has been telling them there is something different about this person i just feel like i've known them before there's something where i just feel so drawn to them i feel so connected to them in ways that no one else ever has so and i feel like they just they kind of get frustrated because they can't really explain it and so the only way they know how to for most of you for your person is like they'll just say it's kind of like a soulmate and that's really all they can say but because of that they're like they just want to reach out but i feel like what they're saying is that they're afraid to they're really not sure how to go about this what's the right way to kind of get you to read their message and reply and not just leave them unread you know so they're kind of just going like they really do want to be in communication they do want to reach out to you but they're just like i don't know what to say to them and then we have the wheel of fortune and the queen of staff so like i've been saying the wheel of fortune has been i, I don't know is it the karma is it the fate the destiny you know that's been coming up but this is very much connected to the lovers when you think about it it's just that written stars it's that soulmate connection something fated destined and they're just very very attracted to you they're attracted to you in so many different ways that doesn't like no one else compares to you so yes it is the queen but we're just looking at the energy not the gender uh for the guys out there that were who are watching so your person knows that there is something special about you but they're attracted to you they're drawn to you there's just something that you just stand out in ways that no one else ever has and it's kind of intimidating too because the queen of staffs uh she's very charismatic she's very much she's not like the queen of swords where she'll just tell you how it is <laughs> straight up and you know not even try to limit the blow and how hard it's gonna hit you she'll just tell it like it is queen of staffs she'll tell it how it is but she does it in a very humorous maybe sarcastic way so very funny type of energy but very very positive and i also feel like they know that you're very intuitive and that you already know as well that there's something here and we have the three of presents being clarified by the nine of staffs let me grab a drink of water oh yeah you guys know when i do the side it's just like Duh, do i really need to go into this uh yeah but i have to because that's what they're telling others about you and most of you are going to resonate with it it's going to be where your person puts you in a third party um they put you in a third party and so now they know that you've kind of put your guard up your defenses are up you're not in that same energy that you were when you first knew them it's like you found out about this third party about this other person maybe you knew all along i mean it's going to be different for most of you but because of that they just feel like you've pulled back your energy you're not in the same energy that you were before so there is something deeper here and i know a lot of you are going to be my twin flame so you guys are going to know the deeper there's way more to this right we know that so i don't need to go into it you guys know and i know so but they've been telling their friends family whoever they've been talking to 
about that third party and it's just kind of been what's put up this wall between you two or at least it's the wall that you created because the queen of staffs she is fiery she is passionate and she gets pissed off and when she gets pissed off you don't mess with that queen <laughs> she's the one who gets really pissed off she's the one with the temper i mean just all kinds of different wonderful qualities but it's also a queen you don't mess with let me just put it that way so you don't mess with the queen of wands queen of staffs no so you have that wallet they know it well, let's get to your oracle cards we're going to start off with the truth deck and then we'll do your tea leaves we have uh, checking your social media temporary setback sexual energy or interest um yeah i'll do the tea leaves in a second yeah, let's do it that way. I'm like, did I do it that way for my one? I did. So, yeah, your person has been, you know, they know. I think it's twofold. For some of you, they know that you've been checking their social media and that's how you found out possibly about this third party. They know that you've been watching, but also it's also them. Like, they're watching you now to see what's your next move. What are you doing? Are you completely backing away from this connection? Are you just kind of... Um, staying away to stay away because of what's going on so they've been trying to get information through your social media is what they've been telling others um and i don't know maybe for some of you you might have blocked your person and they might have created a different account or something that's also another possibility sorry that i'm picking up on and we have temporary setback and so your person sees Yes, this is a challenge to overcome, but they see it as something that you guys can overcome. They're hopeful that it is something where you won't be so pissed off at them that you'll want to work it out, that you still are invested in this connection with them in one way or another. So they kind of see it that way. At least they're trying to play it off that way. Like, yeah, you know, there was a third party, but for some of you, maybe that it's already over, they've already left whoever that person was, um, or for some of you, it might be like they still have to figure out what to do, so it's like that's setting things back. But also with the temporary setback, I feel like other things are coming into play too, like there's been other issues, other responsibilities that have been causing setbacks. Take what resonates, it's going to be a lot for different people, and it might be all of the above even, so just take what resonates um, sexual interests they are just I feel like for some of you what I'm getting because of the social media and the queen of wands uh, what I was getting is that your person does pull up like your social media on their phone and then they show people your photo and they're like damn look how hot my person is look how good they look here you know I feel like they're bragging when it comes to this and they're just like I just need to have them it's really the energy I'm getting with that so that's what I get with that um yeah that's where I leave that so let's get to your tea leaf cards the lily the lobster the door the fan the horseshoe barrel well so I laughed at the lily, um, it's spiritual love. I mean, it goes back to the lovers, right? It's where they know there's something deeper, something very special between the two of you. And even though their friends don't get it and it pisses them off for some of them, or some of them don't believe it because again, unless you've gone through it and experienced it, you don't know and you really can't explain it. It's, you know, so that's what I I tell you guys I hate when I'm talking and then I realize <laughs> my camera cut me off like no all right so what I was saying about the lobster and the well so the lobster is talking about financial pinch and then the wealth and so this is all that temporary setback and it's very much connected just like pretty much how I was saying that there's things that have been causing setbacks that isn't just related to this third party and it could be their career it could be school whatever resonates for you and your person but it is something that they've been concerned about they're like I just I want to be able to do what I want to do and have that money and not be stressed out about it you know you really don't 
finances is such a big issue and it causes so many issues between people and couples and if someone's not feeling uh, like they have enough then it's like their energy isn't as high as you would want it to be and that could really affect your relationship even though it doesn't seem that way it could because if they're not feeling good about themselves then it might come off but i don't know just a thought uh we have the door opportunities are waiting for you so they feel like you just unlocked like you have the key to their heart you are the one who just came into their life so un unexpectedly but things have never been the same ever since you entered their life no one has really just shaken up their world the way that you have and they know with you there's so many different possibilities different things that you guys could accomplish and work together you know i'm getting that whole power couple kind of vibe with this as well they know because they see your worth you know you are worthy with the wealth card so that's what i get with the door the fan romance celebration celebration party where they do want to have good times with you they want to just not worry about this wall they want your walls to come down but also where they want their walls to come down um yeah they just want not to take away from the boundaries because that's a whole different thing but they want this openness with you they don't want to be in this energy where you guys are kind of like on guard all the time you know where you guys can just feel like relaxed and happy with one another and not just worry about the drama and the fights and all this other stuff that's happened in the past so that's what we get with that the horseshoe good luck you are their lucky charm <laughs> so i know it's cheesy but there's a lot of like very positive lovey kind of energies here and of course the sexual um, interest as well so you are their luck you just I feel like they think, um, this is also going back to the Wheel of Fortune, like you've really made them more aware of things, like you've really brought their attention to things they never realized before, and like I said, you shook up the world in ways that no one else ever has. We have the barrel. You feel something is lacking in your life, perhaps love, money, or goals. And so with that one, I really feel like the love and the money. They, you know, it's like they're struggling with their finances, but even more so what they're feeling is just not having you there too it's just it's already like they're feeling low about their finances but then on top of that you're not there so it really puts a damper on their whole situation and that's what they've been telling them it's just it's not the life doesn't have color without you because you look at the horseshoe and there's like these beautiful bright colors and then you look at the barrel and it's just you know not the same it's not the same so you really do bring that life and color and that's the queen of staffs energy just that liveliness and fun and like i was saying charismatic and just very passionate and fiery you just bring all of that to them but without you they don't feel it and so they do feel the absence of you is what they're telling their people as well but overall it is where this is positive energy i i don't see anything negative that they're telling people so that's a plus it's just they have to figure out like they have to figure out their work their career their finances if there's still a third party they have to figure that out if not then they have to figure out okay how do i apologize to this person how do i make things right how do i make them bring that wall down how do i get them to open their heart to me so there's different things there but overall you are just they see you as their soulmate, their twin flame, some type of a spiritual connection. There is something special about you and they do want more. It's just right now they're working on their finances. So that's, if you're wondering what the holdup is, that's what it is for you guys. That is where I will leave it piled to. So I hope that resonated. This is a lot better energy than earlier. I I mean, I could have done some other things, but I was like, leave it with that reading i cannot leave it with that reading so i feel a little bit better and i hope you guys enjoyed this reading maybe more than the other one or as equally as the other one i'll take either or uh but i hope it also brought some information and that is it i still have to post a pick a card on instagram i haven't done it because i was doing this 
and I did some things in between. So yeah, expect the pick a card reading on Instagram probably shortly after I post this and that is it. So comment, like, share, subscribe if you're not already. Remember to click on the bell icon so you get notified when I post another pick a card. That is it, pile two. Thank you guys for tuning in to another one. Hope to see you on the next pick a card. Bye. Hi, pile three. Welcome to your pick a card reading. For those of you new, hello and welcome. For those of you subscribed, thank you guys for tuning in to another Pick a Card, especially if you watched the earlier one. Thank you so, so much. Uh, I was telling the other pals, look, I, I mentioned in the reading, I was like, I'm not happy with it. I didn't like the energy. It was way too scattered. I felt all over the place. I just did not like it. And and it bothered me so much that I'm like, I can't leave them with that reading. I can't, I can't, I can't. So that's why I'm here with this pick a card. And I was telling Pile 2, I almost did not post that reading, the one before this. I just, that's how unhappy I was with it. So um, thank you to the people who commented. Thank you, Kat, <laughs> for saying, you know, it was one of your favorite ones. I appreciate that. I'm very glad to get that kind of feedback. So that's why I posted it, even though to me it felt like a crap reading as far as how the energies were. I know there were some good messages that came through and hopefully, you know, it helped in one way or another, even if it was kind of a little all over the place. But that's why we're doing this reading. And this reading is what have they been telling others about you? So I've been looking for an excuse to use my truth deck and my tea leaf in the same reading. And that's what I'm doing. And so we're going to start off with tarot. Of course, you guys are the Olaf pile. And let's get to it. So I'm just going to separate yeah. oracles. And what do we got? <laughs> The Chariot, the King of Swords, the Ace of Staff. Seen the Chariot quite a bit today. That's actually really cool to see. We have the Five of Candles, the Two of Needles, and the Hermit. All right. What do we have going on here? Okay, so what I'm getting with the Chariot and the Five of Candles, what they've been telling others about you is that you moved on. They feel like you've moved on away from them. They feel like um, you're moving on to other options. But also what I get with this, it's because they were the one who had other options or there was a third party or they chose something else over you. Like they, they really didn't make you a priority. You were treated just like some type of option. So now it's kind of like they feel like the tables have turned and you're moving on. You're just kind of like forgetting about them is what I get with this. So that's what the first thing that I'm getting. And so we have the King of Swords and the two of needles and what we have with this is that they do like they want to tell you their side of things they want to be in communication with you they want to tell you what's been happening they kind of want to explain the truth and just i feel like if they did choose a karmic over you what i get with this is they do want to explain that it wasn't the right choice and that they do regret it and they feel remorseful for putting you in that situation and I just feel like there's a lot of fear coming through just at the thought of possibly losing you and the two of needles though like what they're telling them they're like i want to talk to them i want to tell them my side but i just feel like they're not going to hear me out i feel like they're just going to block me they're just going to leave me on red they're not going to do anything they're just going to just completely ignore me like they're just afraid that you're not going to be receptive to them anymore that you're just going to blow them off in the same way that they kind of blew you off and i know that sounds really harsh but it, you know if you've gone through it you already know right so it's not something it shouldn't be something new that I'm telling you it's just I know it sucks having to relive it or rethink about it right so but that's what I get with that and then the ace of staff so they're saying they want to start over with you they really do want this new beginning they just feel like with you there's so much excitement and liveliness and passion that you bring and they just they just want that spark back they want that connection with you they really do miss it and they feel like you're just kind of 
gone away. Like with the hermit, uh, they feel you just secluded yourself. They feel there's just this distance that you keep creating. And it just feels like you keep um, distancing yourself further and further and further and further away from them. So that's what I get with it. It is where they do want to approach you, but there's a lot of fears. There's a lot of fears of rejection. There's a lot of fears that it's just like nothing's gonna come from it they feel like they're gonna put in this effort and they're like well what's you know wh why why should i because all they're gonna do they're not even gonna pay attention to me they have all these other options now why are they gonna pick me when i've caused them so much hurt uh and you know why so that's what we have with those so let's take a look at the oracle cards add on to that and see what we have we have a new home goodbye more to come all right Whew, okay so the new home different things for some of you they're talking about maybe for some of you you've relocated maybe you guys lived in the same city and now you're at a distance like they're like and that might be what i was talking about too about this distance the further and further you know uh i feel like star wars and galaxies far far away <laughs> that's kind of what i get with it but they that might be one of the things that you moved and you're really far away from them. You might have moved to a different state, a different city, a different country, take whatever resonates. But also, it might be them. They're like, they want to move closer to you. They don't want to feel at a distance. They feel at home with you. So there's different things with the new home. And we have goodbye. They honestly, they feel like you're done with them. They legit feel like you're just done. You're like, you took as much as you could you waited as long as you could and nothing came from it so you went on your little chariot and you moved on and you're like seeking out playing the field or you know not playing the field but you know possibly talking to other people and just as a reminder you know this is from your person's perception so yeah you know you might be like well there's no other person there's no one else it's only them that's fine and that's understandable, but you have to remember your person could be seeing things differently, you know? So you just have to remember, yes, you may know the full truth. It's not to say that your person does. They might know something or think something completely different. It doesn't mean it's true, but it is the impression that your person has, okay? So, you know, don't get too mad about it. Um, and that's what I get with the goodbye. More to come. They're just like, they don't want this to be over. They feel like you're saying goodbye, but you're like, it's, they're like, it's not over though. To me, it's not over. It's not ended. So yeah, they have these fears of rejection, but they do want to chase after you. They do want to make something happen. And it's just, they just have to get over these fears. And once they do, I feel like they will be on the chariot chasing after you. So let's do the tea leaves. You guys quite, got quite a few. So let's see what we have here. We have the unicorn. Handshake. Desk. I don't think I'm going to fit all of these in here. We have finger. We have wedge. We have fire. Um do this and we have bag and then we have younger woman all right so we're gonna start off, let's start off with the unicorn to them you are beautifully unique you are different from everyone you are not like the rest for some of you you have may be the only person that has ever stood up to them who's ever put their foot down and set boundaries and was like look i'm not playing your games and you know i'm not getting breadcrumbed i'm not gonna be just an option so they walk away you know and so to them you were just like they were stunned by it but just also just respected you for doing that um, the other thing it says, use your intuition to make beneficial changes. So it might be for your person, they recognize they have to change their ways. And it has to start with this, with the five of candles, which is the five of wands and rider weight. And 
that going again where they didn't make you a priority they treated you as an option you were just kind of on this long list and you know they gave you attention whenever they wanted to it wasn't um you know like when you wanted to like whenever you reached out to them it was almost like you were waiting on them you were always waiting on them like you were there all the time so they know what they've done wrong and that's what they want to work on the next thing we have is handshake and so to this it's like they want to reach the common ground they want to meet with you get to an understanding um, get to some type of an agreement compromise make things work out like let's give this another shot i feel like they want to state their case to you and be like this is why you should let me have another chance of course whether or not you take it that is up to you but this again i'm just giving you the information that i'm getting from your person that came through um anything else uh, now a meeting with a stranger could be important so I feel like they do want to meet up with you they do want to meet up with you it's just they have to get past these fears of being rejected by you we have the desk pay attention to your work so that was something else that came up that was another thing that possibly you know the responsibilities has been coming up quite a bit in these readings and so their work was something that they had to pay attention to they're like I was busy with other things but again on this long list of priorities you were like just at the very end and so you can't keep waiting and waiting around for someone as much as you want someone as much as you care about them you know if it's not reciprocated and it feels unrequited like you can't continue to hurt yourself because someone else isn't ready you know that's out of self-respect to you so to your person the other time like i was busy i had other things going on but at the same time you know they were having fun they just weren't really they weren't ready for a serious commitment or they weren't ready to be in a relationship they were just looking for fun so whatever resonates um, whatever you know for your person we have the finger warning you of a problem either now or in the future so they feel like you've put the blame on them a lot and for some of them you know really what i get is all of them know their part in it they've accepted whether or not they've told you of course is a whole different thing but they recognize where they could have done better but at the same side of this and i know it's not to trigger you guys you guys know um it is where they're like but they never like they're like but they never point the finger at themselves sorry it cut off on me um, but that's all I was saying um, that they feel like you're not taking your part of it uh, so be careful with it uh, with that kind of energy because to me it could also be a little bit of like narcissistic tendencies it's not all the time it's not you will know for your situation whether or not you had something to do with it uh, really it takes two to tango you know it's like um, you allowed them, you know, because it wasn't until you walked away that you let them know that you're not dealing with it. But before, it's like you waited. So it's not to put the blame on you guys. Um, you know, I get it. I completely understand. I'm just kind of giving you how your person is seeing it. Uh, so, but for those of you, if you kind of thought your person was a narcissist, you may want to be careful because really when you know just take ownership when you mess up that's all it is that's all that's all i gotta say let's leave it there you guys already know what i'm trying to say we have the wedge and so someone came between you guys they're saying it could have been a third party now this isn't limited to a romantic person or a sexual person because usually you know it could be either or uh, it could also be family it could be friends um you know it could be career whatever the case was they feel like something really came in between you guys um, and it might be where it was work and then there was options so it just made it all kinds of different messed up <laughs> in this connection right it really did um, but that's what they they know they know that things that there was someone else and it also could be with the finger that they're blaming this wedge they're like uh, you know I feel like they know though like they're like 
I let so-and-so come between us and I should have known better and I don't know why I let that other person or why I chose that other person so if they chose like a karmic or something you know it's just different things I'm just trying to give you what I get and then we have the fire first of all I feel like you just make this person burn with passion and desire they're so attracted to you is what they're saying they're just like they just want to hold you and of course you know they're i don't feel like they're really going into detail as far as how badly they want you but that is what i'm getting with that but um strong emotion passionate love or hate yeah and so okay with the strong emotion i do feel like they feel deeply for you they have deep feelings they want this spark back with the ace of staffs uh that's going back to the passionate love they want this passionate new beginning with you they feel it um and they but they feel like maybe you just don't care about them whatsoever they may feel like you might even hate them and that's why they're afraid with the goodbye that's you and the passion and hate like you just don't want anything to do with this person anymore like you're so done with them but the other thing that I was getting, um, for some of you, it could be where it's like this love-hate relationship. Like, one minute you guys are just like, it's just so passionate and just, you feel so connected. And then the next minute, it's just like, you guys cannot stand each other. You cannot be together. You cannot be around each other. You might want to be careful because that, to me, sounds a little bit more, um, I don't know, a little bit more karmic. I don't know. Not for everybody, but just saying depending on your situation but i know that most times i am reading for higher level soulmates or twin flames uh, so but you know it, my readings are for everybody so hopefully you guys can get something out of it but either way that is really what i get so it it's uh, <laughs> it's two i mean it's two kinds of energy where yeah they think that you are everything but they just feel like you're you're just mad they feel like you're mad you are just continue to walk away further and further you're just like you're done is really what they feel but to them there's more to come they don't feel it's done um it's yeah i mean it's not bad like it's not like the energy before, earlier that it was scattered this is not scattered energy it's just there is a little bit more intense energy here like with the finger the wedge the fire i mean you can feel it right it's just the intensity coming through so it feels and that might fuel why it is a love-hate relationship but again and because of how i was mentioning about the narcissistic just be careful that it's not a karmic you guys but really look whoever you're meant to cross cross paths with it's going to happen one way or another and if it is this is a karmic just take the lessons with you at the end of the day it's all you can do it's not easy but it's meant for a reason and it's not to make your world miserable but for the rest of you uh you know where this is your twin flame this is your soulmate and it might be where you kind of mirror each other quite a bit. You guys are like love, hate <laughs> to uh, an attraction, not attracted. Uh, you guys know. You guys know. So that is where I leave it because, like I said, it's just, I feel like your person, though, biggest thing they need to overcome is their fear of rejection. Once they do that, I do feel there should be movement within your connection. They know. Um, and they just kind of have to, like, own up to what they did. You know, I ho hopefully they're not blaming you, but if they are hopefully they can move past it but that's where i leave it so i have to post the pick uh, pick a card for instagram i haven't posted it yet i mentioned it in the other reading i didn't do it because i did other things so after this reading i should be posting that uh, the link to my instagram is in the description box but i'm under the same name of sincerely luminous so if you want to look me up that way that's cool too uh like share subscribe comment let me know how it resonated you guys and if you do subscribe click on the bell icon so you get notified when I post another pick a card. That is it. That is where I leave it. Thank you guys for tuning in to another one. Thank you again to my subscribers. You guys have been so patient, understanding, kind. I truly, truly am grateful for all your support and I just thank you for letting me continue to read for you. And I will let you know when I do open the shop up for personals, which should be soon. But that is it, Pile of Three. Have a good one. See you on the next one. Bye.